Shalom, Shalom. Welcome to Morning Dew, our daily devotional time with the blessed person of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome back to Morning Dew, beloved. We just came through the week of the Passion, not just the week of the Passion, our Passover convention as well. Hopefully, it was a blessing to you. Hopefully, you learned something about Bima. Um, I, I believe sincerely that the teachings that God has given us is for our benefits. Well, we go back to what we were on before the week of the Passion. And today, we're going to look at the tongue's venom and how that the destructive power or the tongue's destructive power has a similar effect to that of a poisonous snake. Now, when a snake strikes you, beloved, it poisons your blood. Um, so your entire bloodstream is poison. Some types of snake poison, uh, the poison affects the nervous system. Um, other types affect the cardiovascular system. Now, when the poison hits the nervous system, many of the nerves become paralyzed and then an individual who is beaten may stop breathing and then he may die. Now, when the other type of poison hits the cardiovascular system, beloved, what happens is you may begin to bleed internally and externally. Now, whichever types of poison, beloved, it is, it has to be dealt with as fast as possible or else somebody will be in big trouble. So what it means is that poison kills. I want you to remember that poison kills. Now, Bishop remembers um, in 1982, whilst in uh, the laboratory, while studying um, at the university, um, university's zoology uh, department for a lesson on snakes, um, he learned about different snakes and their poison since um, he was a medical student. Now, something happened. He says that a visiting lecturer brought a huge viper from a glass container and then he opened the mouth to expose the fangs of the snake. Now, there were these two frightening and deadly fangs within the mouth of the snake. So what the lecturer did was he put his hand inside the mouth near the fangs and he squeezed some of the poison from the snake. Um, this is something that is done to produce the anti-snake serum that is used uh, to treat snake bites. Now, but then something happened, all right? And something went wrong during this demonstration. And what happens? The viper wriggled and, um, and set itself loose. And what it did was it stuck uh, it struck the, the hand of the lecturer. Now, the lecturer had a little cut and Bishop says everybody was scared. They were so scared because uh, they knew that this man or the lecturer could easily die. Luckily, he was treated and he survived. Now, why? the question is why were they so worried? Why were they worried when the uh, viper struck the lecturer? Why were they worried? They were worried because, beloved, they knew that the poison had the power 
to end the man's life. Let's say a snake poisons someone you love. For instance, your father. A snake poisons your father. Your father is probably the one who pays your school fees, um, the one who takes care of you, and then a snake poisons him. What, what is the implication? It means that within the mouth of a poisonous snake is the ability to stop you from going to school, to stop you from being taken care of. Within the mouth, beloved, of the snake is the ability to take away the father of a child or the husband of a wife. So if you know that, then you will understand that if a poisonous snake, for example, bites a pastor, it will take away the shepherd and it will scatter the flock. Now, what I'm teaching you are the realities of poison and the reason why the church must constantly guide against poisonous tongues, poisonous snakes in the midst of the brethren because every time they release their poison, they're taking something away from you, something away from the pastor, something away from the church, something that will benefit you is taken away by poisonous snakes or poisonous tongues. So beloved, just as you know, um, they took the poison from the story I told you out of the snake's mouth, we can also take the poison out of our tongues. It may be difficult, but it can be done. The question, beloved, this morning is, how do you remove this poison? <laughs> so, the child of God must tame his tongue, bring it under the control of the Holy Spirit. Beloved, the church can be destroyed by the permissive actions of poisonous tongues. Father, thank you for our deliverance from the effect and the losses that are brought upon us by poisonous tongues and poisonous snakes that infiltrates the midst of the brethren and seeks to deny and deprive and, 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 and deny us or take away from us certain benefits, O oh God. Thank you that you have opened our eyes to see that when poisonous tongues are allowed to operate, we lose something. The church loses something. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. What a blessing, beloved. Do not allow the oppression of poisonous tongues around your environment. Your day is blessed. I know that God has prepared baskets of blessings for you this week. Receive your portion in Jesus mighty name. I'll see you again. Shalom.